In tonight's Health Watch, those virtual reality headsets that can take you on lifelike tours of far-flung places. Well, what if virtual reality could take you on a tour of your brain? CBC's Dr. Max Gomez says it's making brain surgery safer and less stressful. Well, that's right. Of course, any surgery is anxiety-producing, right? But what it must be like to be told you need brain surgery for a tumor or aneurysm. Technology to the rescue. Now doctors are using virtual reality, VR, to ease patients' anxiety and even rehearse the operation. It looks like a kind of animation you might see in a movie or TV medical show, recreating a fictional brain injury or neurosurgery. But this is very real, or virtually real. It's Bonnie Haber's brain. The green mass is a benign tumor, and she's being shown by Dr. Thomas Steinecke where it's growing and how he's going to remove it. See how the tumor is right next to this artery. It all began about a year and a half ago. I got extremely dizzy. I mean, dizzy, dizzy that the room started spinning around me. The ceiling fan was going and the switch wasn't on. Long story short, that led to a CAT scan and then quickly to a consult with the chief of neurosurgery at the JFK Neuroscience Institute in Edison, New Jersey, where Dr. Steinecke told her she needed brain surgery to remove that tumor. If my symptoms are just going to be, I'm going to get dizzy once in a while, why do I need to let you cut my head open? Dr. Steinecke hears that often, especially when all he had to show a patient was black and white brain scans, something a trained eye can interpret, but to a patient, their tumor looks like... Just a big white spot. That's where this new 3D virtual reality system comes in. The reconstruction from special brain scans allows Dr. Steinecke to show a patient exactly the what, where, and why of their problem, tremendously easing their anxiety. I felt more secure. Better yet, the VR system allows a doctor to better plan the surgery. It gives us the power to really rehearse operations more so than we've ever had. It makes it safer and frankly faster. Now, 18 months later, Bonnie's not only back to work, she's back to exercising, even kickboxing. Wonderful. I'm completely back to normal. You know, now, though for some patients, this virtual reality is a little too real. It can be a little disturbing seeing a tumor or aneurysm, knowing that it's growing inside your brain. But for most patients, the understanding and engagement in their own case makes a big difference. And on TV, you don't actually see the 3D effect. But when you put those headsets on, you really are kind of flying around in, inside, inside your own brain, which is, again, is a little, wow. creep, little creepy. But... It, it just brings a patient in and lets them relax and they understand better what's going to be happening. Yeah, I don't want to see what's going on yeah, in here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid it'll be nothing. So dark and, dark <laughs> maybe and crazy better than ways. knowing, at least knowing a little bit about what's happening. Exactly. You know, yeah, otherwise, that, it's just the unknown. That helps everybody kind of calm down a little bit because that's a big deal. You bet. Thank you, doctor. You bet. Coming up.